we're going to make brittle peanut cookie bars. So let's get started. First, you're going to need a large bowl. And what we're going to start off by using is one um, half pound, uh, two sticks of butter, uh, unsalted butter at room temperature into your bowl. And then with your hand mixer, or if you prefer to use your stand-up mixer, we just want to start creaming the butter in the bowl. And you're going to add one cup of granulated sugar to your cream butter. I'm going to put my mixer on about medium high. So I have it all combined. And that was a half a cup, or a cup rather, I'm sorry, of granulated sugar. One cup. like this. And now we're going to add two cups of all-purpose flour that I did sift. So it is sifted and I'm just going to add a little at a time on low so the flour doesn't go all over. And as the flour starts getting mixed in, it's going to start to form your cookie dough for you. That was the rest of the flour. And that was two cups of sifted flour. And I want to get to the bottom of the bowl and work those sides to make sure that I've got all that flour mixed in. The next thing I'm going to put in is actually a half a cup of chopped peanuts. So you're going to need one cup, but I'm going to use only half of it. So I'm going to put a half a cup and leave the ha other half for the topping. And now I'm just going to, on high, blend all those peanuts into the cookie batter. And that shouldn't take you more than a minute or two to do all of it. And I'll show you what that looks like. There we go. And then you're going to need a uh, cookie sheet or pan. What works best is a 15 and a half by 10 and a half one inch jelly roll pan. I'm using a little bit bigger of a pan. Uh, but they come out a little bit thinner uh, of the uh, cookie and I kind of prefer it. But if you use the 15 and a half by 10 and a half pan, the bars will come out uh, a little thicker for you. And what you want to do is, you don't have to spray your pan or grease it. Just put all your uh, cookie dough out on, a, out on your pan, get it out of the bowl, and just push it on your pan. And then you're going to need a little bit of flour on top of it. And what you're going to start doing is just pushing out the dough into your pan. And it's going to take you a little bit of time to do that. But you want to spread it out as evenly as you can. Don't worry about your fingerprints at this point. And once you spread it all out from one end to the other, and I'm going to try to do this quickly just to give you an idea, because you don't want it thick or thin in one area. So you're going to use your whole hand and the palm of your hand to start spreading it all out. Due to the video, I want to move it along. And then just take a piece of uh, wax paper and put it on top. And then either with a glass or if you have a small roller, you'll actually just go over it with the uh, wax paper on top of it. And it'll help even it out and smooth it all out. But again, you want to take the cookie and actually spread it to the uh, complete um, pan that you're using. Now, once you do that, 
You're going to put it in a 375 degree oven and you're going to bake it anywhere from 23 to 25 minutes. Start checking it really about 20 minutes because uh, all ovens do set up differently. And I went ahead and made some to show you. When they come out of the oven, you'll want to wait five minutes for them to cool and then cut them because you will not be able to cut them uh, when the cookie completely cools down. They will just break for you. So when they come out of the oven in five minutes, cut them into your squares and then you're ready to serve them once that, uh, that they cool down. And there you have it. Brittle peanut cookie bars. They're very light, very tasty. Give this one a try. I hope you like it. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.